Hello everyone, it's Dalai here and I'm here to show the current state of the compositor for fish eye for the sorry for the mood view, which is pretty much finished. So let's show in this scene here. I'm just rendering and when I rendered with without compositing, so compost turn off. I have the right view, I have the, the left view, I have the center view, and I Oh, the video is frozen. Maybe you're seeing, maybe you're not. And I also have a way to see then in stereo. So okay, the left and right together. But when I'm compositing, now I'm compositing. If I go to the, so if you go to compositor, and that's our compositor, the render layer here has the three views on it. So remember we rendered with the three views, so the composer also has three views. So if you just go here, connect these with the output, the compositor, you're just gonna render out all the three views with whatever effect you want. So let's say, let's connect these with this viewer node. So here you can see on the background that you have the, the views are just rendered, okay? We are seeing in anaglyph because the left and right combine together. Okay, pretty good. Now, what happens if you want to do, uh, if you want to change the color of the indi individual views? Okay, let's say you want to combine the left view with a yellow, greenish, the right view with pink, and I even have a center view combined with blue. For this, I'm using the switch view node, okay, which allows you for each views that comes out of here to the, for them to receive a different treatment before going to the final. So in this case, if I just render and I just press rendered and go here to the view, bam! Let's look at here what we have. We have each of the views, and this is actually the viewer node, as you can see here. Let's hope it focus. Yeah, see the viewer node has all the views on it. So in the viewer node itself, you can change the current view you're seeing. Okay. In this case was the left one. So you can actually get to see all the views together and even the 3D combined view, which now is current in anaglyph mode, but it could might as well be interlaced, could be side by side, could be let's go back to anaglyph. Uh, what does that mean here? Which also, so let's go back now to a wider view. Let's hope this works. Now, if in the compositor, okay, I change. Look at this at the left at the left uh, view. If I change this color to something red, you get to edit the views in real time. If I change the, this one here, the center, to something greenish. It's changing this view here. And if I change the right, here's the right, okay? The right one, I'm gonna change the color here to pick something yellow. Bam, it's changing there in real time. So you can, and you can even go back to your previous viewer and see the original ones, or go to the viewer that I added later on, on the chain, and get the view there. So just remember what we see here on the backdrop is a 3D, the 3D view. You can just have one of these glasses here, and you get to see if it's anaglyph. You should probably see. Oh, that's actually gonna work. So here we just see the left image there. Here we just see the right one. It's okay, left and right. Same goes for the other thing. So uh, left. And right, so oh, right. Oh, sorry, it totally didn't rehearse. Left and right. So this way you can composite. I, I you probably won't be changing colors per view, but you can definitely change the depth separation, some vignetting. I don't know. May have a logo in real time. And then yeah, that's pretty much about it. And then if you add a file output node 
we can actually also export this, right? And then have here, and let's go here. You can save all the views, so the three views, as uh, in this case, individual files. So they get a, like a left, center, and right. Uh, in this case, OpenXR, it could be JPEG or anything. You can also save them as a multi view, which is one single file which stores all the views. Or you can, of course, save them as a pre side by side mode and a glyph mode interlace. So the same what you see in the screen can be exported in a final file. But the nice thing I want to show here is that you can have different nodes, and each node can have its own format. So you can have interlace, you can have an anaglyph, and I'm just to show here. So if you keep connecting the same thing over and over again, go here, connect again, you can get the same scene automatically composed into different uh, output formats. And yeah. uh, that's about it. Yep, so Composer is pretty much working. I need to fix the file output, but the viewer is working. And this is a big thing I wanted to share. Thank you. Oh, this is the Blender Institute at night. Came here to actually to finish this, this mode, the multi-view work, and then, well, oh.